Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Hot Mic with Lady She. I am so excited for tonight. My special guest, you all know who she is. She's hilarious. She out here killing it. She making money, and she teaching everybody how to do it. Welcome, Miss Candace Hollyfield. Parker. It's hey. Holyfield? It's Holyfield. Excuse me, because I like to get names correct. It's Miss Candace Holyfield Parker, because she's mad at that. Mm -hmm. All right. Welcome. Hey. Thank you for having me. Thank you for having me, madam. <laughs> okay, just a little backstory, everybody. We went to GoCon. Shout out to Miss Skittles and yes. Zoe the Goat. And this beautiful queen was just, the energy was on a thousand. So I had to find out who she was. So what did I do? Being who I am, I came to find out who she was. We her outside. I introduced myself and I said, um, I have a podcast. Would you like to? And she said yes. <laughs> so that alone says a lot about her character. We got a lot of people who making good money and doing their thing, but they won't give us the little people, so to speak, the time of day. So, Miss Candice Holyfield Parker, how are you? Good, good, good. So, today we are at your Triple Threat Tour. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. So, we did Airbnb, business credit, and marketing today. At one of my clients in a beautiful new location. So, we just really came to celebrate her, and then we just opened up the page for the food as well. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, um, tell us a little about yourself. Where are you from? Yes, yeah, so I am originally from Memphis, Tennessee, but I've been living in Atlanta for almost seven years. Nice. Okay. All right, so that's where the whole, the energy of, I'm a boss chick, and I'm this, and I'm six figures five. No. Where did it come no. from? Where did that, it comes to know where this energy came from. That's what drew me. Where does this come from? I mean, from? I always had big energy, but I never thought about being six figure anything or being a business owner or being a millionaire. So I've always been like energy, but now it's like a whole new, I'm a whole new person. And one thing, um, Coach Storm, you know, Coach Storm, she always talk about reinventing yourself. Ooh, Coach Storm, shout out to Coach Storm, honey. Yeah, it's like I, it's like I, I reinvented it. myself by default. I wasn't even trying to reinvent myself. It's just, everything just kind of happened by default, like a double effect pretty much. Wow. It was just me um, moving to Atlanta and I'm from Memphis, it's a smaller place, and I got to Atlanta, and I saw everything new, everything different. I saw girls, you know, with fur coats on, and in, in New York, we in New York. I thought I was gonna wear my fur. They were like, it ain't cold enough for the fur, don't do it, right? Um, so it was just, you know what? It was me getting on social media too, you know, Instagram. Right, right. I got on Instagram, I was seeing the girls in New York, Naya Lee with her fur coat on, nice. I was seeing everybody. And I moved to Atlanta, and I just started seeing a lot of different things, and I wanted different for myself. And that's kind of really what a whole six figure spot thing had. So, what was going on in Memphis like? I actually had an amazing childhood. Did you? I had a really good childhood. You and have my, siblings? My brother was 12 years apart. Wow. So, I was the only child for 12 years. I was four my whole life. I didn't get whoopings. <laughs> I think it's my bad. I'm bad. I never got whoopings before. Right, I, don't, right. I did whatever I wanted to do, okay? Um, so I said, I've been lit, right. but it's just like a, uh, it's, it's when I, it, this what you see now is me knowing I'm a queen. Yes, I love that. <clears throat> I was lit, but I wasn't a queen. I was letting people use me. You know, uh, you know, my baby dad or somebody might call me a B or H or, and I used to be real big too. I was like 200 and some pounds. Um, so I was real, real big and, you know, I didn't, I didn't know the queen that I was. Right. So who you have, in your wording, reinvent yourself to be comes from, you know, the the weights and whatever emotional things you went through. And that's what got you like to where you like, can't nobody tell me nothing at? Yeah, it was me um, moving to Atlanta, going to so many events. Right, right. And I was meeting so many women. They was just like bossing. I was like, what am I doing with my life? Okay. I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> um, so just getting around the new environment. Me, new people, starting my business, and then we were talking about that earlier. Lucinda Cross was on the event. This probably was three, four years ago, and she was, we always say we're a being and eight, like how we talk to each other. Right. She's like, you a queen. So okay. ever since maybe three or four years ago, I was like, queen, everything, queen, candy, mm -hmm. spot queen, hey, queen. Yes. I still say B and H a lot, but I try to say queen a lot more. <laughs> I try to say queen a lot She's like, more. Miss is still in there a little bit. Yeah. That ain't going nowhere for you. I just, oh. it's, it's like I walk into my queendom. Like, I'm a queen. That. I deserve to be treated like a queen, treat myself like, like a queen, respect myself. Mm -hmm. um, the queen thing, like, popping. I love that. I love that. So, where the name Six Figure Spot? First of all, first of all, <laughs> let the people know what you do. Yes, yeah, Spot so, World. So, enlighten me. 
I own an 18 wheeler trucking company with my husband. I'm a super host on Airbnb. I got the number one spa expo, black, only one in the world. The only black spa award, the only black spa. Say that family. only as in nobody else. Yeah, okay. only, like everything I did was for black people. Um, when I, keep in mind y'all, this 11 years ago, but when I <clears throat> was getting into spa, it wasn't all a, a lot of black people. Right. Um, there was no spa coaches to help us or mentors. Um, it was like awards and, and magazines, and we was not in them. Not in I was in them though twice. Oh, yeah. So once I got in the magazine, but I didn't win, I got nominated. I never won. I got nominated twice. I never won. And so I was telling the other black girls, I said, we're not winning because we're not doing the things that other people are doing. Right, right, right. right. I said, we got to do the things they're doing. That's why we're not winning. Right. And so I started doing more things and they still made me win. Okay. I couldn't make my own. So I made my own expo. I made my own magazine because every year that magazine will come out and they will award people and and we just won't win it. Can I say something? What I love about what's been happening recently is all the doors that's been closed for black women, black men, we're just opening up our own. Do it yourself. Yeah, that's what I did. And that was love six it. years ago. Wow. So six years ago, uh, I just started doing events for black spot people. I became a six-figure spot chick because I made my first six figures on Groupon. Wow. And so I made my Instagram page six for the spa chick and I was I teaching it, I, love it, I, love it. I was teaching other people how to make other massage therapists how to make money on Groupon. And that's where that whole kind of thing came from. So you went from moving from Memphis, coming to Atlanta, feeling like, okay, I gotta step it up because this is the kind of energy I need to be around. And then you create yourself in something that you already love to do. So you already was in the spa. Yeah, I had, a, I had a very successful spa in Memphis. I had already made six figures. My husband at the time had a baby on me. And that's how I moved to Atlanta. So I moved to Atlanta. I was depressed. I had literally lost my mind. Right. <clears throat> and so well, I had one of them stories. I had lost my oh, mind. God. Yep. I left Memphis. I left everything. I just took my car and my kids. That's it. I left wow. everything and started all the way over. And um, I just lost my mind. I had good credit, so I lived off my credit for like a year. Whoa. And so that's once dope. once I had no credit card, left bank account negative, I said, I gotta get up. <laughs> gotta I, do something. I gotta do something. Um, and that's when I got up, opened up my spot in Atlanta. I don't know where I got the money from to this day to open up the spot. Yes, God. Yeah, I don't know where I got it from, but um I found the money, opened up my spot in Atlanta, I got back on group on and plus Atlanta was Atlanta, so I was going to a lot of events, meeting right. celebrities right. and meeting influencers. So I started massaging them and doing their events and um in like a matter of six months, whole life just changed. Look at that. Huh. Really probably about 90 days. I told November, December. So about 90 days, whole life. This on my program mm -hmm. called 90 days to kick ass. I, I love it. I gave myself 90 days. I said, if something don't happen in 90 days, I got to go back I'm home. I'm playing too much. Oh, no, okay. I got to go back to me. Yeah. I ain't got my money. So you gave yourself, <laughs> you gave yourself a goal and a date or a time rather to say, if you don't do this by then, then you ain't. You might as well go back home. I can't go back home. And I didn't want to go back home because they were there talking about me. Right. I, had, I had got broke. Ex-husband had the baby. Mm -hmm. I was like, I cannot go back home. So, <clears throat> the energy that you didn't want to deal with anymore is what's kept you to keep rising. Pretty I good. love Pretty that. much. I, I was like, I can't go back. And you I never went back. Or you went. That's I, it. I, if I went back, I don't think I ever would have became a millionaire. Right. If I would have back. Right. Ooh. I don't, don't even, I don't even challenge him that. From myself in Memphis. Right. Wow. Wow. So now you came in with your children. How are they with the whole transition? Because now they had to leave dad behind, correct? Right. So they got to roll over whatever mom. So actually, the decision mom making, we, we in this now. How was that? No. <laughs> no. So I got there and got broke, and he had to come down. Okay. He had to come down, so he left the baby mom and the new baby. Because keep in mind, I'm still his wife. Right. Okay. I'm still his wife. Okay. okay. So um, he came down, he had got a job. I'm still trying to figure things out. And so um, December, because I was back on group home, but now I had started going back home. But so we had a little money, not a lot, but a little bit. And come to find out, uh, he had spent all that money. That's how we broke up. That's how we broke up. He spent all that money. Because he came, he went to take So he had a side baby, didn't spend the money. <clears throat> he had a side baby. We went back to Memphis for Christmas because uh, we shared a bank account at that time. My credit was bad, remember? Right, right. I didn't have a bank account. So my money from Groupon was going into his bank account. Um, so we got back home to Memphis and he hadn't saw his baby in months. And he went and spent all the money. So 
So he uh, brought, and I wasn't mad. I'm like, you know, I want you to take care of your baby, but right, don't right. spend all. But really, but really, yeah. And that's how we broke up because we couldn't pay the rent. He spent all the money at the bank account, and so we couldn't pay the rent. So I had to hustle up and get a bunch of clients mm -hmm. to pay the rent. And I said, if I gotta pay this rent, you can't come. I know that's a fact. And that's what happened. And that's how we that's how we officially was broke done. up. Was done. Cause I had took him back after he had the baby on me. Mm -hmm. Cause I was I was going through a real depression. Like I could not get out the bed. Right. And that's how we ended up getting back together. Wow, wow, wow. So now you're in this new place, you're meeting people, you're doing celebrities. But like how did how did you get to a point from blue Pond to start doing celebrity celebrities? So I actually was doing celebrities in Memphis. So before I left okay. Memphis, I was already off of Blue Pond. I wasn't on it anymore. That's also how I got broke because when I moved back to Atlanta, I was looking at I got on Blue Pond, I'm moving backwards instead of forward. Gotcha. But I didn't have no cars and no money. I was like, girl, get on Group Pond. <laughs> um and I promise you, I got on Group Pond, I was never broke another day. Wow. If I wouldn't have been depressed, I would have did it soon. I got to Atlanta, but I, I was depressed and I couldn't think straight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you came to yeah. So I was already doing celebrities and everything in Memphis. I just didn't know a lot of celebrities in Atlanta. Atlanta. Right. But people already knew me for massage. But people didn't know me in Atlanta. Right. So I went to events every day. I ain't had no job. <laughs> I went to every free event I could go to. Oh, that's great. Um, and I would just meet people and I was giving out free massages. Smart. I was like, I was a Skittles. I was like, I was like, I was like, how did you meet Miss Skittles? I had Skittles on the event. I did the spa lounge. So I started doing spa lounges for big events in Atlanta. So Megan Good, um, a Skittles would come, a Shanita Foster, just wow. Dana Chanel was there. Like, I was I was doing every event, acting up, and I do a spa lounge for free so I could meet people. Right. And that's how I started getting up. Networking is life. Right. But I was serving. Is life. I was serving because right. I was giving away free services. Wow. Cause I got your name on there. I felt that if they let me touch them one time, they would fall in love with the uh, my technique. Yeah. And that's what everybody did. So I did the first one free, and then I did everybody put me on retainer, two hundred dollars a month. <sighs> that's that's that how I got unbroke. Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> that's how she became six figures project. Yeah. So now you have like your own tribe, as you call it. Yeah. So explain to us what that what, is, what that is like. So I took a class in 2015. It actually was an Instagram class in 2015 because I built my spot business on Facebook. Right. And so I took this class and um, she was teaching about Instagram and she said, you never want to be broke to build a community. Love that. I said, love that. I said, spa boss. I didn't have the word tribe on her here. Mm -hmm. Later, I put the word tribe on there. It's Bridgerton and Trading right now. And I just started saying Spa Boss Tribe. I started using, if you look at our hashtag, we got 40, 50,000 posts. <laughs> 40, 50, the tribe is huge. Uh, it's an international tribe. We got people all over the world. Mm -hmm. And I just started saying Spa Boss Tribe. And I created the hashtag. And I created a membership. So how does that go with the, with the membership thing? How, because I'm seeing at a lot of these events, you can see that people making money through the events, they making money through the ebooks. Like, how? What is your niche? My niche is uh, the spa events. So I started doing. Um, at first, it was called Spa Retreat. I did that one first in 2016, and then I did a Spa Award. Like she just said, I used to charge forty dollars. Right. Um, my membership was sixty five dollars for the whole year. Wow. I ain't know any better. It was sixty five dollars. My car, <laughs> my car to get on the phone with me to help with group home was twenty five dollars. Wow. I just, I just took my price up to ten thousand this month, and girls are big. You saw the last year price is not this year price. Well, last year it was fifteen ninety seven. Oh, okay. It was fifteen ninety seven last year. The future this December, I took it up to it was fifteen ninety seven for a year. Okay. And then I took it up to ten thousand. The more money I make, the more people I help. The smarter I get, the more value I get. And my coach is always my coach. We don't be charge twenty five k right now. Right. Because I I I help nine other spas. 